Okay, so we'll try not to put you to sleep on this week's episode, but we're testing a volt go battery. A uh, 12 and a half volt, 400 amp hour lithium ion battery that has um, its self heating protection, has fire suppression, it has very low ambient uh, charge and discharge capabilities, multiple mounting configurations, and um, this is probably one of the better batteries I've seen to date. So let's get with it. And uh, remember, I'm going to put chapter markers in this. So if you happen to get a little bored in an area that may not interest you, just zoom right through to the parts that you like. Uh, there's other people that have technical questions that uh, I wanted to leave this info for them. Um, price point for this battery, I think this is probably at the 75 percentile on cost. It is not the most expensive, but it is... Uh, it's probably the second or uh, second or third from the top in terms of expense. But in terms of versatility and value, this battery gives you everything that other batteries don't. Uh, the built-in fire suppression, uh, for me, that's a no-brainer. Should something go wrong with a short, um, we've all seen a few videos of lithium-powered cars um, bursting into flames, but this has built-in fire suppression. And uh, correct me in the video comments, if if there's another one out there, I haven't seen it. So without further ado, let's kick this thing off and uh, let's get down inside this battery and see how it works. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's go. So this battery is not a joke, this thing I scaled it in at 95 pounds in the box. So make sure you got a helper when you're getting this out. You definitely don't want to drop this thing on your foot or your leg. But as you can see it's packaged up pretty good and now it's time to get it up on the bench so we can do a checkout. All right, so welcome back. It's the next day and we got our uh, Volco battery all charged up. And uh, first step we're gonna do is we're gonna log into the Bluetooth app. We're gonna download it and set that up. <clears throat> and as soon as we get that going, So that, that app is going to download for us. Volt Go Bluetooth. All right. All right, here it goes. As you can see, it's a little chilly morning out here. <clears throat> we got the chest turned down already, waiting for us. So that's good to go. Now I, I printed out the manual and I left it downstairs, so I may have to cut this video up and go see, but look like it's seeing, it's seeing a bunch of equipment already. So that's fantastic, that's good news. So from what I remember reading, you have to know which Bluetooth it's seeing. And from what I understand, yeah, there it is. It's got a Bluetooth ID on it, see, so it's got ZT, Okay, and it ends in 67. So we're gonna see if we can find that one. And uh, sure enough, ZT, see that in 67? That's fantastic. All right, well, that was simple enough. I love it when these companies got their little details figured out. <clears throat> so it's, uh, it's communicating already, that's it, quick. So I'm just using the standard iPad and that's the Volco battery sitting there. <clears throat> So that's really interesting that it, it synced up without any hiccups whatsoever. I mean, it's nice to see people got things working out. Shows our current temperature, 7C. There's our different cell temperatures. Okay. 
and there's the cell voltages. And apparently this has a, a balancer built in, which is really a sweet thing to see because every time you get done with a charge, you can see how close these are. So that's fantastic news. Uh, the other thing about this battery that's really impressive, and a lot of people out there don't realize it, they're probably looking at one of the best batteries on the market. It's versatile. You can mount this on its side. It's got different hardware brackets. This thing can be flipped up on its face. You use these brackets. They would bolt on the back here and secure that to the wall. So many different configurations. Four-aught terminals it'll accommodate. It has two different communication cables. Um, I'm not real familiar with these. Uh, they're CAN bus from what I understand or RS-485. Um, from what I read, these are plug and play with a Victron system. So all you Victron lovers, uh, this is something here that's a, a game changer for you because you have a high capacity, high performance battery for a lot less money than the big blue brand that I'm not gonna bring up. This battery uh, is currently in development in the final phases that they're telling me of the um, underwriter laboratories approvals, I guess for the United States and for Canada. Um, this battery has the built-in low ambient heating, so if it gets a little on the cool side, you're not supposed to charge one of these. You can still discharge them for a ways, but you have to be able to keep the cells a certain temperature in order to charge them. And this battery has that covered, has built-in heating. So that's a game changer, automatic built-in heating. It's got a high performance BMS system on it to protect itself. Um, I believe this has, uh, let's just look down here. So you can see the maximum charging current is 200 amps, okay? The maximum discharging is 250 amps. Um, other things that's important here, oh yeah, we should talk about safety for a minute. It's the first battery I've ever seen that has built-in fire suppression. Now their, their smaller version of this battery, the 100 amp hour version, this is a 400, but their 100 amp hour version has got all the certs on it already. So insurance companies and different manufacturers are gonna absolutely love that battery because it means it's went through a very high level of testing and certifications and it's passed them all. So, so why are we here today? We're gonna put this in a medical grade freezer and we're gonna get it down around 20, 21 negative. So negative 20 Celsius, we're gonna see if the internal heating works, we're gonna look at it with a FLIR thermal imaging camera. So we're gonna get a picture before uh, during and after and we're going to watch its profile as it's running Through this I'm going to hook this up to an inverter and the inverter is going to have already pre-cooled the the, uh, the freezer chest here But this is going to be running the inverter That powers this entire test. So this is going to be a standalone test from this battery So I think that's kind of a unique test we can do You can see the three white cubes. Those are the temperature sensors for this test the temperature sensor on the left is channel 1, the temperature sensor on the battery is channel 2, and the sensor on the right is channel 3. So when you see the graphic through the video, you'll know what it's representing. Pay attention to the center. So we'll go uh, let this thing run longer. Uh, we're going to just keep a constant load on it. That, that cooler is so cold inside, yet the top of that battery is hanging in there and uh, thermal imaging pictures definitely indicating it's in good shape. So uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, I think it's time for some coffee because it's definitely cold out here. So one of the things I noticed that the compressor as it kicked on and off, we wouldn't have a constant draw. So I plugged in a small little electric heater and uh, that seemed to keep a constant load running. Here's a couple pictures of the app from the iPad. At the beginning of the test, I just wanted to show the internal cell temperatures. They didn't change much either. Now it's very cold in this freezer. Um, I've had this door open for a few minutes getting these photographs. It's a, a negative 18C. in here <clears throat> there is an alarm on the alarm light is on 
can see there's definitely beneath this tag is a pretty warm spot this is our battery sensor it's hard to tell but it almost looks like there's a heat strip running through here view that could be the reflection of the shop light I'll shade this no that's actually thermal all right so a couple hours went by and the battery still uh, it's you know, plenty cold inside the freezer here the battery is uh, solid as a rock still what we want to do now is now that we've got the battery down so it'll accept the charge and we've got it good and cold uh, we want to actually throw a charge at the battery and see if the internal cell voltage goes up and we can see um, there's the temperature if i can focus in on that you can see uh, the printed circuit board temperature is uh, negative three celsius Cell 1 temperature is negative 3 Celsius. Cell 2 is 0 Celsius. So what I'm going to do, you guys can watch that part. I'll, I'll engage my lithium charger here. It'll take me just a minute. If I can get this charger to crank up. What I'm hoping to do is see if those cell temperatures go up. So that'll probably take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause you guys and get that plugged in and I'll uh, see how this works and we'll get right back with you. So important note, um, when the battery is really cold below um, minus one C, you're not gonna get it to charge. As Soon as you put the charge on it, you'll see that the temperature of the cells will start to increase and until you hit one C, nothing happens. It doesn't tell you this on the app, but after a little digging, we repeated this several times and we found out that's the case. Once that battery cell gets up to a 1C, then things start to happen. The chargers kick on and it goes from protect mode to charge mode. So just be nice if the app told us that, which it doesn't. Um, next thing we did is we opened the top up. These are the heater cells that you can see. Uh, very beefy 70 watt heaters. Uh, com board on the left you can see that hooks up for all the Victron guys main motherboard in the middle there great terminals good connections so this is our 2020 coachman freedom express it's the uh, 259 fkds um, front kitchen uh, rear king bed it's a pretty nice unit we're real happy with it we put a solar package on it in a boondocking kit and we've been playing with different batteries and some different charge controllers but right now I want you to look at probably the best battery on the market and this is the Volgo battery on the left we have two batteries that sum up to 400 amp hours of battery capacity and on the right we have a single battery with 400 amp hours. Notice the size difference. All right so we're going to go hook this up in the camper now. I'm going to do a good long test over about a week period of time. Don't forget to uh, stop by the channel here and hit the like and subscribe button for other videos. So our camper we have uh, thousand watts of solar on the roof and we have a 3,000 watt inverter and we've got a Renogy system here to where we can uh, monitor everything remotely and data log and uh, we did just that with this Volco battery we ran it through the paces from uh, fully discharged to uh, full charge using solar and we've also used the solar slash inverter to charge at the same time so we could throw a we did about 110 amps is the best we could do in the Michigan sun. But uh, after running this thing through several cycles, the best I could get out of this battery 
even though it's, it says it's a 400 amp hour battery, about the highest I could get was about a 409 amp hour use out of it, which is great. It's, it's better than the nameplate. Um, the app is really handy. As you can see, it, it shows you how the cells balance and they are extremely close. Uh, as we already know about all the temperatures uh, inside the RV, um, it stays toasty warm in there, but uh, you know, it's, it's hard to run a load test and impress anybody because the battery has been proven over and over by other YouTubers to deliver uh, point blank exactly what the nameplate says. So uh, no surprise here. I don't want to bore you guys with a week long test. Uh, this thing really delivered properly. So um, if you have a Victron system, I think this battery would really be a great benefit for you to hook up. Um, the only way I can communicate to the battery is with the Bluetooth option, which is fine. Um, no surprises, it, it works as directed. So there are multiple batteries on the market that you can get, but there's only one battery I could find as of today that had all the options that the VoltGo battery has. There are different prices and they seem to be all over the map because of sales and clearances and changes in the economy. But find one that has all of the features that the Volgo battery has. Thanks for hanging in there. And be sure to like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. Thank you.